इम्पॉर्टेंट डेज फरवरी 24 सेंट्रल एक्साइज डे 2023 फरवरी 27 वर्ल्ड एनजीओ डे 2023 27 फरवरी 4 नेशनल प्रोटीन डे थीम इजी एक्सेस टू प्रोटीन फॉर ऑल 28 फरवरी रेयर डिजीज डे थीम शेयर योर कलर्स नेशनल अफेयर्स टेन्योर ऑफ द 22nd लॉ कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया एक्सटेंडेड टिल 31st अगस्त 2024 द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द टेन्योर ऑफ द 22nd लॉ कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया टिल 31st अगस्त 2024 The term of the present 22nd Law Commission was to end on 20th February 2023. The 22nd Law Commission was constituted on 21st February 2020 for a period of 3 years and its chairman justice retired Ritu Rajavasthi assumed office on 9 November 2022. Its chairman and members have recently assumed office. so they did not get enough time to work the other five members of the commission are former kerala high court judge justice kt sankaran law professors professor anand paliwal professor dp verma and professor raka arya anm karunanidhi the term of the 21st law commission ended on 31st august 2018 its chairman was justice balbir singh chauhan The Law Commission of India is a non-statutory body constituted by the Government of India. This commission was constituted for the first time in independent India in the year 1955 headed by the then Attorney General of India MC Setalwan. The first law commission was established by the Charter Act of 1833 during the British Raj in the year 1834 and was headed by Lord Macaulay. Government revises norms for members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme 2023. The government announced revised guidelines for members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme 2023 (MPLADS 2023). The revised rules will enable MPs to recommend developmental works as per the requirement of their constituency. Members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme MPLADS is a scheme formulated by Government of India on 23 December 1993 that enables the members of parliaments to recommend developmental work in their constituencies. The MPLADS scheme had been discontinued after COVID-19 started spreading in the country. It was restored on 10 November 2021. Under the scheme each MP is entitled to a fund of 5 rupee crore annually which is released into installments of 2 rupee 50 paise crore each EM's annual flagship event Asia Economic Dialogue begins in Pune External Affairs Ministries EAM annual flagship event on geoeconomics Asia Economic Dialogue began in Pune Maharashtra on 23 February 2023 The team day event is being hosted by EAM and Pune International Center. The principal theme for the dialogue is Asia and the emerging world order. Bara Basti village adopted resolutions for clean and fair election. As Nagaland goes to poll on 27th February 1923, Kohima village, also known as Bara Basti The second largest village in Asia has adopted resolutions for clean and fair election. Every citizen from Kohima village have been sensitized about their voting rights. The village council has come out with strict conditions that no political parties can campaign so as to enhance the clean election campaign. PM Narendra Modi chairs the 41st edition Pragati Interaction Meeting. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired the meeting of the 41st edition of the Proactive Governance and Timely Implementation Prakti Interaction. In the meeting, nine key infrastructure projects were reviewed and PM Modi also reviewed Mission Amrit Sarovar. Prakti Interaction was launched on 25 March 2015 by PM Modi as a part of the Digital India program.
फिफ्थ प्रोग्रेसिव समिट विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज इन पंजाब ऑन फरवरी के तेईस से चौबीस द फिफ्थ प्रोग्रेसिव समिट इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द पंजाब ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रमोशन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एट द इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस मोहाली द थीम ऑफ द समिट ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टर्स समिट इज इन्वेस्ट इन द बेस्ट आई टू शो केस पंजाब एज द मोस्ट प्रेफर्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट डेस्टिनेशन इन इंडिया सी जे आई डी वाई चंद्रचूड लॉन्चेस न्यूट्रल साइटेशंस फॉर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया डी वाई चंद्रचूड अनाउंसड दैट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड न्यूट्रल साइटेशंस ऑफ जजमेंट्स टू एन शो अ यूनिफॉर्म पैटर्न ऑफ साइटिंग इट्स जजमेंट्स अर्लियर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन्फॉर्म्ड दैट स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अ यूनिफॉर्म रिलायबल एंड सिक्योर Methodology for identifying and citing judgments in the Apex Court to ensure a uniform pattern of citing all judgments of the Apex Court India joins the Agriculture Innovation Mission for Climate for Climate Smart Agriculture and Food System Innovation. India has joined a global platform launched by the US and the United Arab Emirates aimed at accelerating investment and support for climate smart agriculture and food systems innovation. Dammu Ravi joint secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs signed a letter of intent to join AIM4C on the sidelines of I to U to Israel India United States and UAE Business Forum in Abu Dhabi Union Minister V Murli Dhran to launch new initiatives at NIT Calicut V Murli Dhran Minister of State MoS for External Affairs and Parliamentary Affairs visited the National Institute of Technology Calicut Nitsi Kojikode Kerala We Murli Dhran launched several new initiatives in light of the implementation of the National Education Policy NEP The visit of MoS V Murli Dhran was organized by the Center for International Relations and Foreign Languages CERFEL of NITC We Murli Dhran also released a brochure of the Center for Women's Welfare and Social Empowerment CWAC at the NITC Chhatrapati Sambhajinagar to host Women 20 Inception meeting on 27th February The first meeting of the W20 Women 20 under India's G20 presidency will be held at Sambhajinagar Maharashtra on February ke 27 se 28 2023 Pursuit of gender equality, equity and dignity for women-led development is the theme of the meeting. W20 Women 20 is an official engagement group under the G20 which was established during the Turkish presidency in 2015. PM Modi releases over 16000 rupees crore to 8 crore farmers under PM Kisan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today released the 13th installment of over rupee 16000 crore under the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi PM Kisan through direct benefit transfer to more than 8 crore beneficiaries under the scheme eligible farmer families are provided rupee 6000 per year in three equal installments of rupee 2000 each The Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi PM Kisan scheme launched by Modi in 2019 aims to provide income support to all landholder farmer families across the country with cultivable land subject to specific exclusions. PM Modi inaugurates Shivmogga Airport. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Shivmogga Airport with a lotus shaped terminal. The event coincided with the 80th birthday of Karnataka BJP strongman and former Chief Minister B S Yediyurappa. The new airport has been developed at a cost of around 450 rupee crore. The passenger terminal building of the airport can handle 300 passengers per hour. PM Modi also dedicated the redeveloped Belgavi railway station building to the nation. The railway station has been redeveloped at an approximate cost of about rupees 190 crore to provide world class amenities to the passengers.
PM Modi also laid the foundation stone of six multi-village scheme projects under the center's Jaljeevan mission in Belgavi, which will be developed at a cumulative cost of about Rs. 1,585 crore and benefit about 8.8 .8 lakh people living in more than 315 villages. DMRC plan to start virtual shopping at the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, DMRC, is going to start the country's first virtual shopping app soon for its passengers, so that passengers can shop during their journey and can also provide delivery facility of goods ordered at destination stations. Government approves though, Art saw a C megawatt debunk MPP in AP with investment of 3.9 billion. The Do Art saw a C megawatt, megawatt, Dibang multipurpose project, MPP, in Arunachal Pradesh, AP, the largest ever hydropower project, has got approval from the Government of India with the investment of around 31,876 rupees, 39 paise crores, 3.9 billion, to meet the power demand. The project which is bordering China will be developed by National Hydroelectric Power Corporation, NHPC Limited. India's first container feeder service launched between Chennai Puducherry ports. On Satai Set Farvari 2023, a short haul coastal container feeder service, first of its kind in India, was launched between Chennai Puducherry ports. The container feeder ship, Hope 7, with a container capacity of 106 20 foot equivalent units, TUs, was flagged off by service between Chennai and Puducherry ports flagged off by Sunil Paliwal, chairman of Chennai Port Trust at DP World Terminal at the Chennai Port. Hope 7, procured by the Chennai-based Global Logistic Solutions, the Bara A ferry service is expected to help the trade avoid congested road traffic and take delivery of boxes through direct port delivery, DPD, and direct port entry. DPE than using storage spaces like container freight stations, CFAs, and inland container depots, ICD. The Sagarmala program is the Ministry of Shipping's flagship initiative to encourage portlet development in India by using its 14,500 km of potentially navigable waterways, 7,500 km of coastline, and strategic location on key international maritime trade routes. Singapore Airlines receives 25.1% stake in Air India Group after investing $267 mn. Singapore Airlines will give Air India an additional SGD 360 million US dollar 267 million. With its acquisition by Tata and merger with Vistara Airlines, it will give SIA a 25.1% interest in the firm. Through this deal, SIA will strengthen its relationship with Tata and gain an instant strategic position in a company that is four to five times bigger than Vistara in terms of size. Last year, Tata and Singapore Airlines both committed to provide additional funding if necessary to assist Air India reach its previous peak when the airline had a glitzier shine and sustain it. Vistara brand to be discontinued with Air India merger. Air India, owned by the Tata Group, will discontinue the Vistara brand on completion of its merger with Tata Sia Airlines Ltd., the operator of Vistara Airline, Chief Executive and Managing Director Campbell Wilson said. Tata Group owns a 51% stake and Singapore Airlines the rest in Vistara. The full-service carrier will be known as Air India only which is a much more recognizable brand outside India. Some of Vistara's heritage would be retained in that new manifestation, said Wilson. International Affairs World Bank announces additional 2.5 billion in Ukraine aid. The World Bank announced 2.5 billion in additional grant financing from the US. Agency for International Development, USAID to support Ukraine's budget and maintain essential services. The latest financing under the World Bank's public expenditures for administrative capacity endurance in Ukraine, peace, 
project lifts the total to Bs.6 billion and will support salaries in core government functions and sectors such as healthcare and education while allowing Kyiv to pay pensions and support internally displaced people. Ukraine currency, Ukrainian Hrivnia capital, Kyiv president Volodymyr Zelensky. World Bank headquarters, Washington president David Malpass founded July 1944, Bretton Woods Financial Crime Watchdog FATF suspends Russia's membership over Ukraine war. Global Financial Crime Watchdog Financial Action Task Force FATF, suspended Russia's membership. FATF is an intergovernmental organization set up to combat money laundering and terrorism financing by setting global standards and checking if countries respect them. FATF, Headquarters, Paris, France, President, T. Raza Kumar, founded, July 1990, South year old prince becomes first digital citizen of Bhutan. Bhutan's Royal Highness the Gyalse, Prince, Zygmenaam Gyalvangchuk, has become the country's first digital citizen by onboarding with the Bhutan National Digital Identity, NDI, mobile wallet in February 2023. Bhutan NDI uses cutting-edge technology to provide citizens with secure and verifiable identity credentials, ensuring the privacy and protection of their personal information. Bhutan, capital, Thimphu, King, Jigmekhe Sarnam Gyal Vangchuk, currencies, Bhutane Se Engeltrum Seattle becomes first US city to ban caste discrimination. Seattle City became the first U.S. city to ban caste discrimination and the first in the world to pass such a law outside South Asia. The anti-discrimination law, passed 6 to 1, states that caste-based discrimination transcends national and religious boundaries and without such a law, those who face caste discrimination would not be protected. China launches Hongzing Chabbi satellite. China has launched the Zhongzing 26 satellite in February 2023 at a cost of $330 million. The Zhongzing 26 satellite was launched on a Long March 3B rocket. The main objective of this satellite is to provide broadband connectivity for aviation and shipping-related operations. China plans to launch Tianzhu-6, a cargo craft, by the end of 2023. World Sustainable Development Summit The BIES ND World Sustainable Development Summit, WSDS, was held on February ke BIES se 24 in New Delhi. It is primarily the flagship annual event of the Energy and Resources Institute, TERI. Theme, Mainstreaming Sustainable Development and Climate Resilience for Collective Action. The Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, also known as the Global Goals, were adopted by the United Nations in Doha Pandra as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that by Doha Zartis all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Bangladesh Government, IC Inc.'s agreement to enhance usage of solar power in Bangladesh. The International Solar Alliance, IC and the government of Bangladesh have signed an agreement to enhance the use of solar energy in Bangladesh. Featured projects under the agreement Bara trolley-mounted solar irrigation systems of 2 kilowatt, kilowatt, each for the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute, BRRI. 12 portable to kilowatt solar paddy threshers. 1.5 kilowatt of solar-powered drinking water. Installation of any one railway rooftop solar project on platforms. Installation of two rooftop solar projects with a combined capacity of 22 kW uranium particles enriched to Tirasi Dashamlav Saat percent found in Iran, UN report. Inspectors from the United Nations nuclear watchdog found uranium particles enriched up to 83.7% in Iran's underground Fordu nuclear site. 
The confidential quarterly report by the Vienna-based International Atomic Energy Agency distributed to member states likely will raise tensions further between Iran and the West over its nuclear program. That's even as Tehran already faces internal unrest after months of protests and Western anger over sending bomb-carrying drones to Russia for its war on Ukraine. The IAA report only speaks about particles, suggesting that Iran isn't building a stockpile of uranium enriched above SART percent, the level it has been enriching at for some time. Bilateral India Seychelles signed Pact on Information Sharing in Maritime Security The Information Fusion Center Indian Ocean Region of India and the Regional Coordination Operations Center, Seychelles signed a MOVE on Maritime Cooperation. Seychelles, Capital, Victoria, Continent, Africa, Currency, Sekaloys Rupee, President, Vevalram Klavan India Ghana set to impact on oil gas sector India and Ghana have agreed to cooperate in the oil and gas sector, including long-term crude purchase from the South American country and investment in its upstream sector. Germany pursue an agreement with India to build Che submarines for 5.2 billion German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's visit to India on February K. 25 26 will focus on advancing a 5.2 billion agreement between Germany and India to jointly construct six conventional submarines in India. Mo Abu Dhabi defense firm signs Mo with India's Hal at UAE's Defense Expo. Edge UAE's leading defence group signed a Memorandum of Understanding with India's aerospace firm Hindustan Aeronautics, HAL, at the International Defence Exhibition and Conference, IDX. The more pertains to the joint design and development of missile systems and unmanned aerial vehicles, drones. NITC signs more with MACOM for academic cooperation NITSI signed a Memorandum of Understanding. More with the Kojikode-based Mahatma Gandhi College of Mass Communication, MAGCOM, for academic cooperation. Under this move, both NITSI and MAGCOM will work together on the role of communication in engineering studies and the role of technology in media studies. In collaboration with Surfel and NITSI, academic courses in the domains of content writing, technical writing, and international media studies are set to be started. CSC Academy and Nilit signed more to enhance digital literacy CSC Academy, a subsidiary of Common Service Centre eGovernance Services India Limited, and Nilit, National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, more to enhance digital literacy and skill development in India. Infosys collaborates with Microsoft to accelerate industry adoption of cloud. Infosys, a next-generation digital services and consulting, announced that it will expand its collaboration with Microsoft to help accelerate enterprise cloud transformation journeys worldwide via an exchange filing. According to the Infosys Cloud Radar, Enterprises can add up to $414 billion in net new profits annually through effective cloud adoption. APNA signs more with Lulu Hypermarket for export promotion of millets in GCC countries The Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority, APDA, under the Ministry of Commerce, MOSI, signed a Memorandum of Understanding. Mo, with Lulu Hypermarket LLC to promote the export of millets to the countries of Gulf Cooperation. Council, GCC APDA in association with Lulu Group aims to promote millet products and value-added products around the world. DST Fraunhofer IAC signs LOI on hydrogen clean energy technologies. Department of Science and Technology, DST, India and Germany-based Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, Fraunhofer IAC, has signed a letter of intent, LOI, for a long-term collaboration focusing on hydrogen technologies. India and Germany are committed to collaborating jointly and sharing the goal of decarbonizing their economies to pursue energy security and climate protection.
स्टेट न्यूज केरला एच सी एक सेंट इन कंट्री टू पब्लिश जजमेंट्स इन रीजनल लैंग्वेज द केरला हाई कोर्ट हैज पब्लिश टू ऑफ इट्स रीसेंट जजमेंट्स इन मलयालम ऑन 21 फरवरी 2023 हजार तेईस द डे ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व एज इंटरनेशनल मदर लैंग्वेज डे विद दिस केरला हाई कोर्ट became the first high court in the country to publish judgments in regional language 4.4 magnitude earthquake hits delhi mild tremors were felt in delhi and cr and adjoining areas in uttar pradesh haryana and other regions of north india as an earthquake of 4.4 magnitude on the richter scale hit nepa as per the national center of seismology the earthquake hit 69 kilometers from jumla in nepal Avian influenza H5N1 detected in government poultry farm at Bokaro Jharkhand National Institute of High Security Animal Disease ICA Bhopal has confirmed avian influenza H5N1 in samples received from government poultry farm in Bokaro Jharkhand The presence of the H5N1 variant was confirmed in a protein-rich breed of chicken known as Karkanath at a farm in Lohanchal. Bird flu, also known as avian influenza (AI), is a highly contagious viral disease that affects species of food-producing birds, chickens, turkeys, quail, guinea fowl, etc., as well as domesticated birds and wild animals. Avian influenza virus subtypes are A. H5N1, A, H7N9, A, H9N2, and A, H10N3. NTCA gives in principle approval to make Odisha's Debrigad a new tiger reserve. The National Tiger Conservation Authority (NTCA) has given in principle approval to the proposal to declare Debrigad Wildlife Sanctuary as a tiger reserve (TR) following a notification by the Odisha State Government. Debrigad will become the third tiger reserve in the state and the first in western Odisha. Simlipal and Satkosia are currently the only to notify TRs in the state. Kiladi site museum to be set up in Tamil Nadu to showcase artifacts related to the Sangam age. The Archaeological Survey of India ASI is building the Kiladi site museum at the Sangam age site in Sivgangai district of Tamil Nadu. More than 18,000 important artifacts discovered so far will be displayed in this museum. Kiladi site is a small township in South Tamil Nadu. It is about 12 kilometers from the temple city of Madurai. It is situated on the banks of the Vagai River in the southeast. Rajkumaranjan Singh inaugurated World Book Fair 2023 feet in New Delhi. Shri Rajkumaranjan Singh Minister of State for Education Government of India inaugurated the World Book Fair 2023 on 25th February 2023 in New Delhi New Delhi World Book Fair is one of the largest book fairs in the world organized in collaboration with National Book Trust India and India Trade Promotion Organization ITPO NDWBF 2023 is being organized from 25 February to 5 March 2023 at Prakriti Maidan New Delhi 20th edition of BioAsia held in Hyderabad Telangana the 20th edition of Asia's largest biology and healthcare conference BioAsia was held in Hyderabad Telangana from February ke 24 se 26 2023 The BioAsia 2023 event was hosted by the government of Telangana and the Federation of Asian Biotech Associations FABA. This year's theme is advancing for one shaping the next generation of humanized healthcare. Kerala first state to launch bandicoot robot for manhole cleaning. The Kerala government has launched a robotic scavenger bandicoot to clean sewage in the temple town of Guruvayur. becoming the first state in the country to use robotic technology to clean all its operational manholes water resources minister roshi augustine launched bandicoot under guruvayur sewerage project in thrissur district by the kerala water authority kwa as part of the state government's 100 day action plan
Bandicoot, developed by Kerala-based Gen Robotics, recently won the Kerala Pride Award at the Huddle Global 2022 Conclave organized by the Kerala Startup Mission, Sung. Kerala Temple introduces robotic elephant for performing ritual duties. In a first in Kerala, a lifelike mechanical elephant was dedicated to the deity in a temple in Kerala for performing daily rituals. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, India joined hands with award-winning actor Parvathi Thiruvothu and held the Nadiruthal ceremony of Irinjadapilli Raman, a robotic elephant, at Irinjadapilli Shri Krishna Temple. Nitin Gadkari inaugurates 3,670 rupees CR Highways projects in Maharashtra. Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Sri Nitin Gadkari inaugurated national highway projects worth 3,670 rupee crore in Maharashtra on 25 February 2023. He inaugurated five national highway projects of 212 kilometers length at Nanded worth rupee. 1,575 crore, three national highway projects worth 1,058 rupee crore, and 75 kilometers length at Parbhani, and a national highway project worth 1,037 rupee 40 paise crore at Hingoli. Assam CM inaugurates North East's first compressed biogas plant. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswasarma on 26 February 2023 inaugurated the North East India's first ever compressed biogas plant project at Sonpur in Kamrup district of Assam. The plant will have a production capacity of 5 ton per day of compressed biogas that would be produced from raw materials such as cattle dung, municipal solid wastes, etc. Karnataka plans country's first marina at Bindo. The Karnataka government will build the country's first marina or a boat basin offering dockage at Bindo in Udupi district to promote coastal tourism in Karnataka. A marina is a dock or basin with moorings and supplies for yachts and small boats. Uttarakhand Govt Inks deal for ropeway at Yamunotri Dham. The Uttarakhand government has signed a contract to construct a 3.38 km ropeway from Janki Chetti in Kharsali to Yamunotri Dham. To be built at a cost of 166 rupees Bayasi Paise crore, the ropeway will cut down the travel time from the current 2 se 3 hours to just 20 minutes. Grand Startup Conclave on Animal Husbandry and Diary in Hyderabad a grand startup conclave was organized by the Central Animal Husbandry and Dairy Department for current and emerging startups in livestock, dairy and animal husbandry areas in Hyderabad. It was inaugurated by Union Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy Minister Purushottam Rupala. The aim of the conference is to promote startups in livestock dairy and animal husbandry areas in collaboration with the National Dairy Development Board, Government of Telangana and Industry Organization Indian Industry, CII. International Conference on Trade and Marketing of Coconut Products at Hyderabad The Coconut Development Board in association with the International Coconut Community, ICC, organized a two-day international conference on trade and marketing of coconut products with the participation of world stakeholders from Farvari Sattais to Atthais, Dohazar Teis at Hyderabad, Telangana. The theme of the conference is Global Coconut Industry Cruising to the Pinnacle. World Coconut Day 2nd September 1st, 300-year-old Buddhist stupa found. The Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, has found a 1,800-year-old stupa in the middle of a mining site in Odisha's Jajpur district from where Khondalite stones were excavated for the project around the Jagannath Temple in Puri. The stupa could be 4.5 meters tall and initial assessment showed it may belong to the 7th or 8th century. Khondalite is a foliated metamorphic rock. In India, it is also called Bejwara Nes and Kalas Nes. It was named after the Khand tribe of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh because well-formed examples of the rock were found in the inhabited hills of these regions of eastern India. 
एक सेंट जी बीस एफ एम सी बी जी एंड दो एन डी जी बीस एफ सी बी डी मीटिंग्स हेल्ड इन बेंगलुरु एज पार्ट ऑफ द जी बीस ग्रुप ऑफ ट्वेंटी इंडियन प्रेसिडेंसी द एक सेंट जी बीस फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स एंड सेंट्रल बैंक गवर्नर्स एफ एम सी बी जी मीटिंग वॉज हेल्ड फ्रॉम चौबीस से पच्चीस फरवरी दो हजार तेईस इन बेंगलुरु कर्नाटका एंड इट वॉज प्रोसीडेड बाय दो एन डी फाइनेंस एंड सेंट्रल बैंक डेप्यूटीज एफ सी बी डी मीटिंग विच वॉज हेल्ड इन बेंगलुरु ऑन बाईस एन डी फरवरी दो हजार तेईस फर्स्ट जी ट्वेंटी एफ एम सी बी जी मीटिंग वॉज कोचर्ड बाय यूनियन मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस मो एफ एंड डॉक्टर शक्तिकांता दास रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आर बी आई द दो एन डी जी बीस एफ सी बी डी मीटिंग वॉज कोचर्ड बाय अजय सेठ सेक्रेटरी इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स एंड डॉक्टर माइकल डी पत्र डेप्यूटी गवर्नर आर बी आई ऑन बाईस फरवरी दो हजार तेईस इन बेंगलुरु कर्नाटका इंटरनेशनल बायोटेक कॉन्क्लेव इन इम्फाल मणिपुर यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इंडिपेंडेंट चार्ज डियाजितेंद्र सिंह मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इनोग्रेटेड द इंटरनेशनल बायोसोस कॉन्क्लेव एथनोफार्माकोलॉजी कांग्रेस एट द सिटी कन्वेंशन सेंटर इम्फाल मणिपुर द इवेंट्स व थीम्ड अपॉन रिमेजिन एथनोफार्माकोलॉजी ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन The events were organized by the Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development (IBSD) in collaboration with Society for Ethnopharmacology India and the International Society for Ethnopharmacology Switzerland. JFE Engineering Ltd to provide technical support to Kerala's Accent Vastato Energy Plant. Chief Minister of Kerala Pinrai Vijayan announced the agreement made with Japan based JFE Engineering Limited to provide technical support to Kerala's first waste to energy treatment plant at Kojikode Kerala UP government signs more with Tata Technologies to upgrade 150 ETS government of Uttar Pradesh UP signed a 10 year memorandum of agreement more amounting to 5472 rupees crore with Tata Technologies Limited a global engineering and digital services company to upgrade 150 government owned industrial training institutes it is across 75 districts in up with modern infrastructure industry oriented courseware training and support for advanced equipment and software as per industry 4.0 ola electric to set up world's largest ev hub in tamil nadu with rupay 7614 crore investment Ola Electric Mobility Private Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding mo with the government of Tamil Nadu TN committing investments worth 7614 rupee crore The investments include setting up of world's largest electric vehicle EV hub with an integrated two wheeler electric car and lithium cell giga factories with a capacity of 20 gw in sitkot bargur krishnagiri district of tamil nadu ola will invest 5114 rupees crore for making lithium cells and 2500 rupees crore for the car plant bihar cabinet approves us dollar 50000 for developing fog alert system with asensia cabinet of bihar chaired by chief minister nitish kumar approved us dollar 50 000 around 41 rupee 41 paise lakh to develop an early warning system for dense fog and cold wave conditions in collaboration with the national center for atmospheric research ncar a federally funded research and development center of the national science foundation united states of america Banking Finance Saraswat Bank Partners target to deploy omni-channel banking. Saraswat Bank has partnered with Singapore-based digital banking solutions provider target to implement omni-channel digital banking solutions for its retail and corporate customers. Under the association, the bank will use Targetus Mobik's digital banking platform to enhance customer experience. The Mobix digital banking platform will accelerate the bank's ability to launch new digital services allowing the bank to constantly innovate and scale as its customer base grows. HDFC Bank 
Lulu Exchange in deal to enhance cross-border payments between India Gulf region. HDFC Bank and UA-based financial services company Lulu Exchange have partnered to strengthen cross-border payments between India and Gulf Cooperation Council (GCC) region. Both sides have signed a memorandum of understanding (MO) to enable remittances to India through HDFC's online and mobile banking powered by Lulu Exchange. In a press release. The bank said they will launch the Remit Now to India service for quick money transfer from UAE. NSE gets the final SEBI approval to launch Social Stock Exchange. The NSE has got the green light from the Capital Markets Regulator to launch its Social Stock Exchange. The Securities and Exchange Board of India (SEBI) had given an in principle approval to National Stock Exchange (NSE). For setting up the exchange last December, Karnataka Bank inked co-lending pact with Paisalo Digital. Karnataka Bank and Paisalo Digital Ltd., a non-depositing NBFC registered with the Reserve Bank of India, have entered into a co-lending arrangement to provide financial support to the small income segment and to give impetus to the micro and small enterprise segment of the country. The arrangement will leverage Karnataka Bank's low cost of funds and its end-to-end -end digital capabilities and Paisalo to help the sourcing, servicing and recovery of small ticket priority sector loans. Bill Gates buy stake in Heineken for Norso $2 million Bill Gates has acquired a minority stake in Heineken Holding NV the controlling shareholder of the world's second largest brewer for about Norso $2 million. The Microsoft founder and philanthropist picked up 3.8% of Heineken holding, according to a filing by the Dutch regulator AFN. LIC reduces its stake in Industrial Investment Trust from 5.4% to 3.3%. Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC, an Indian state owned insurance group and investment company has diluted its shareholding in Industrial Investment Trust Limited IITL from 12 lakh 25017 to 7 lakh equity shares reducing its shareholding from 5.433% to 3.362% of the paid up capital PFRDA launches T plus 2 settlement for partial withdrawal of NPS the Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority PFRDA, has reduced the waiting period for National Pension System NPS, subscribers for processing partial withdrawal requests to T plus 2 after two days of the request across all central record-keeping agencies CRAs. Formerly, the turnaround time for NPS was T plus char after four days of the request. NSE Indices launches India's first municipal bond index, Nifty India Municipal Bond Index. India's first ever municipal bond index namely Nifty India Municipal Bond Index has been launched by NSE Indices Limited, a subsidiary of National Stock Exchange, NSE. It has a base date of 1st January 2021 and a base value of 1000. It was launched at the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI, workshop on municipal debt securities in Bangalore, Karnataka. Bharti Aksa Life Insurance Unity Bank Form Bank Assurance Partnership Bharti Aksa Life Insurance Limited has entered into a bank assurance partnership with Unity Small Finance Bank Limited, Unity Bank, a new age digital first bank, to distribute life insurance products through the bank's Pan India network of 111 branches and 206 offices. Awards Recognitions Dr. Mahendra Mishra awarded International Mother Language Award. Dia Mahendra Kumar Mishra, an Indian educator and social worker, was awarded International Mother Language Award. He received the award from Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Dhaka, Bangladesh. He is the first Indian to receive this award. JSW
Chairman Sajjan Jindal honored with Entrepreneur of the Year 2022 Seat Award Sajjan Jindal, the Man of Steel, Chairman and Managing Director, JSW Group, was named the EY Entrepreneur of the Year 2022 and will now represent India at the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Award, way, in Monte Carlo in June 2023. RRR to be honored at the HCA Film Awards 2023. RRR has backed three big awards at the Hollywood Critics Association, HCA, Film Awards 2023. Directed by S.S. Razamoli, the film has been given the HCA Film Award for Best Action Film, Best Stunts, Best International Film and Best Song for the song Natu Natu. Ram Charan also presented the award at the Hollywood Critics Association Awards 2023. He was the only Indian actor in the list of presenters. RRR's film song Natu Natu made a record by winning the Grammy Award. Other awards at the award ceremony Hollywood film Everything Everywhere All at Once received the most nominations at the HCA Film Awards 2023. This film got nominations in 16 categories. It won the award for Best Editing. Also, the film's actor Kehu Kwan won the Best Supporting Actor Award. Haribala Krishnan wins Dohazar Tais Makuni Prize. Computer scientist Haribala Krishnan has been awarded the 2023 Makuni Prize. Dr. Bala Krishnan is a professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. The award is given annually to innovators who have made a significant contribution to enhancing digital inclusion through the advancement of information and communication technology. Jammu and Kashmir got the Best Adventure Tourism Destination Award 2023. India Today Tourism Survey has selected Jammu and Kashmir Tourism for the Best Adventure Tourism Award. Union Minister of State for Culture and Parliamentary Affairs Arjun Ram Meghwal presented the awards in New Delhi. The Jammu and Kashmir Tourism Department has been conferred with the award for its efforts in promoting Gulmarg as an adventure destination of international repute. Appointments Resignations Rajiv Raghuvanshi Mr. Rajiv Raghuvanshi has been appointed as the new Drug Controller General of India, DCGI. Dr. Kanakrele Dia Kanakrele, a world-renowned dancer and Mohiniyattam exponent, passed away. Mohiniyattam is a classical dance form that originated in Kerala, India. Vishwabhushan Harichandan Vishwabhushan Harichandan took the oath of office as the ninth governor of Chhattisgarh. Anusuya Uike Anusuya Uike was sworn in as the 16th governor of Manipur in Imphal. Ajay Banga The Biden administration named Ajay Banga, former chief executive officer of Mastercard, as the next president of the World Bank. It is noteworthy that David Malpass, the current president of the World Bank, had announced his intention to step down by the end of June. Girish Chandra Murmu Controller and Auditor General Girish Chandra Murmu has been selected as the external auditor of the International Labour Organization in Geneva for a period of four years from 2024 to 2027. Shaili Oberoi Shaili Oberoi of the Ahmadmi Party has been elected as the mayor of Delhi. She defeated Rekha Gupta of BJP. Shailesh Pathak Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICSI, has announced the appointment of former bureaucrat Shailesh Pathak as its Secretary General from 1st March 2023. Crown Prince Princes of Denmark arrive in India on four-day visit the Crown Prince of Denmark Frederick Andre Henry Christian and Crown Princes. Mary Elizabeth arrived in India on 26 February 1923 on a four-day visit. During the visit, the Crown Prince will meet Vice President Dhankar and President Draupadi Murmu. Govindaraj Kemparedi Govindaraj Kemparedi K. Govindaraj, President of the Basketball Federation of India, BFI, 
was unanimously nominated as the president of FIBA Asia. Vishal Sharma Vishal Sharma has been named the chief executive officer designate, CEO designate of the GIL Chemicals business, effective as of 8 March 2023, according to a statement from Godrej Industries Ltd. Nitin Abar, executive director and president, Chemicals, Godrej Industries Limited, would be Vishal's reporting authority, according to the company's announcement. Rajesh Malhotra Senior Indian Information Service, IIS, Officer, Rajesh Malhotra has been appointed as the Principal Director General of the Press Information Bureau, PIB, according to the Ministry of Information Broadcasting. He will be the Principal Spokesperson of the Government of India. Devi Singran Singh Shekhawat Devi Singran Singh Shekhawat, former President. Pratibha Patil's husband, passed away. Sports Tilot Tamasen wins bronze in women's 10 meters air rifle at ISSF World Cup. Tilot Tamasen has won bronze medal in the women's 10 meters air rifle at ISSF World Cup at Cairo in Egypt. Carlos Alcaraz defeats Cameron Nori to win Argentina Open title. World No Do Carlos Alcaraz recently produced a stellar performance to win the Argentina Open by defeating second seed Cameron Nori in the final in Buenos Aires. Carlos Alcaraz, Spain, won his seventh ATP Tour title by defeating last year's Wimbledon semi finalist Cameron Nori, Great Britain, 6 se 3, 7 se 5. Sports Minister Anurag Thakur inaugurated the All India Taekwondo Championship in Delhi. Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Singh Thakur inaugurated the three day All India Taekwondo Championship in Delhi. Daughter. Championship is being organized to mark 50 years of Korea-India diplomatic relations. In the opening ceremony, ANMU was signed between the two countries in the field of sports exchange and special performances, Korean dance, taekwondo performances. Spain's football player Sergio Ramos announces retirement. Spain legend Sergio Ramos on 23 February announced his retirement from international football, revealing that he is not part of head coach Luis de la Fuen's plans. Indian women's lawn bowls team won the gold medal in the 14th Asian Bowling Championship in the 14th Asian Bowling Championship 2023. The Indian women's team won the gold medal. In a thrilling match, the Indian team comprising Nainamoni Sekia, Lovely Chobe, Pinky Singh and Rupa Rani Tirki triumphed over hosts Malaysia. Australia beat South Africa to win ICC Women's T20 World Cup for the sixth time. Australia has won the ICC Women's T20 World Cup trophy for the sixth time. Australia defeated South Africa by 19 runs in the final match played in Cape Town. Gardner was declared player of the tournament, 110 runs, 10 wickets, while Mooney was named player of the match. It was Australia's 13th White Ball World Cup title. The ninth edition of the 2024 ICC Women's T20 World Cup is scheduled to be held in Bangladesh between September and October 2024 and in England in Doha Chabbis. Madhya Pradesh wins Senior Women's National Hockey Championship Hockey Madhya Pradesh was named the winner of the 13th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship in 2023 after defeating Hockey Maharashtra Paat Se Ek in the championship game in Kakinara, Andhra Pradesh. In the meantime, Hockey Jharkhand finished third after winning the third place game against Hockey Haryana. Daniel Medvedev defeats Andy Murray wins Qatar Open title. Daniel Medvedev won the Qatar Open in his professional tennis debut by defeating Andy Murray 6-4, 6-4, in the final game between two former no. Once, New Zealand becomes second team after West Indies winning test match by one run.
The Tim Southey led New Zealand team has established a work by defeating England by one run in the second test. New Zealand has become the second team in the world to win the match by the lowest run in test cricket. Earlier in Unni Sotiranve, West Indies set this record by winning one run against Australia in Adelaide. Manchester United won the Carabao Cup title 2023 Manchester United ended their six-year trophy drought when they defeated Newcastle United to 2-0 to win the Carabao Cup in Wembley. The final battle was fought between Manchester United and Newcastle. Manchester United is winning the trophy after six years. Newcastle is a Saudi Arabia-backed club. Science Technology Meta to introduce AI large language model called Llama. Meta Platforms INC is releasing a new large language model based on artificial intelligence, AI, aimed at the research community, Chief Executive Officer Mark Zuckerberg said in a Facebook post. Meta's Llama, short for large language model Meta AI, will be available under non commercial license to researchers and entities affiliated with government government, civil society, and academia. Indian Council of Agricultural Research developed new variety of wheat named HD3385. The Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICA, has developed a new variety of wheat which is HD3385. This new variety is suitable for early sowing. It can survive the wrath of heat and its crop can be harvested before the end of March. ICA has registered the news variety HT3385 with the Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Authority, PPVFRA. About Indian Council of Agricultural Research Headquarters New Delhi, established Unni So Untis. The Union Minister of Agriculture serves as its president. Presently, its president is Narendra Singh Tomar. Instagram founders open Artifact News app to everyone. Artifact, a new artificial intelligence, AI, powered personalized news feed application by Instagram co-founders Kevin Sistrom and Mike Krieger, is available to everyone, along with new features. Now, Anyone can download and use the new application and no waitlist or phone number is required. The application is available for both iOS and Android users. Amazon will join the ONDC network in India. E-commerce giant Amazon announced that it will join the Indian government's ONDC, Open Network for Digital Commerce, platform, and as part of its initial collaboration will integrate its smart commerce and logistics services with the ONDC network. ONDC is a non-profit organization set up by the Commerce Ministry's Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, DIT, to democratize e-commerce services and provide small e-commerce stores and online sellers with a level playing field. James Webb Space Telescope discovered six giant galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has discovered six giant galaxies that formed about 500-700 million years after the Big Bang event. The researchers discovered these six massive galaxies using JWST's Cosmic Evolution Early 44 release science program. The telescope, the result of an international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency is slated for launch in December 2021. IOC to set up green hydrogen plants at all refineries. India's top oil firm IOC will set up green hydrogen plants at all its refineries as it pivots ARA's 2 lakh crore green transition plan to achieve net zero emissions from its operations by 2040, its chairman Srikant Madhavvedde said. ISRO successfully conducts flight acceptance hot test of CE-20 cryogenic engine for Chandrayaan-3 Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO successfully conducted the flight acceptance hot test of the CE-20 cryogenic engine that will power the cryogenic upper stage of the LVM-3, 
लॉन्च व्हीकल मार्क थ्री फॉर द चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन एट द इसरो प्रोपल्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स इन महेंद्रगिरी तिरुनेलवेली डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन तमिलनाडु टीएम रॉस्कोस्मोस लॉन्चेस सोयूज एम एस तेईस स्पेस क्राफ्ट ब्रिंग बैक तीन एस्ट्रोनॉट स्ट्रांडेड ऑन आईएसएस स्टेट स्पेस कॉर्पोरेशन रॉस्कोस्मोस रॉस्कोस्मोस द रशियन स्पेस एजेंसी लॉन्च्ड अ सोयूज एम एस तेईस स्पेस क्राफ्ट ब्रिंग बैक तीन एस्ट्रोनॉट स्ट्रांडेड ऑन द इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन आईएसएस ड्यू टू द कोलंट लीक ऑन द ओरिजिनल रिटर्न कैप्सूल सोयूज एम एस बाईस कैप्सूल The unmanned Soyuz MS-23 was launched from Baikonur Space Center in Kazakhstan and had been placed in orbit. Union Minister V. Murli Dhran to launch new initiatives at NIT Calicut. V. Murli Dhran, Minister of State, MOES, for External Affairs and Parliamentary Affairs, visited the National Institute of Technology, Calicut, NITSI, Kojikod, Kerala. We Murlidhran launched several new initiatives in light of the implementation of the National Education Policy (NEP). We Murlidhran also released a brochure of the Center for Women's Welfare and Social Empowerment (CWAC) at the NITSI. NITSI signed a memorandum of understanding (MO) with the Kojikode-based Mahatma Gandhi College of Mass Communication (MACOM) for academic cooperation. Under this move, both NITSI and MACOM will work together on the role of communication in engineering studies and the role of technology in media studies. Defence Indian Air Force to conduct exercise Cobra Warrior with British Royal Air Force. Indian Air Force departs for the British Royal Air Force to participate in exercise Cobra Warrior at Waddington Air Force Base. This exercise is proposed to be organized from 6th March 2023 to 24th March 2023. Exercise Cobra Warrior is a multilateral air military exercise in which air forces from Finland, Sweden, South Africa, USA and Singapore are also participating along with the Royal Air Force and Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force will take part in the Desert Flag 8 exercise organized in the United Arab Emirates. An Indian Air Force contingent consisting of 110 air warriors carrying 5 LCA Tejas and to see Satra Globemaster 3 aircraft arrived at Al Dhafra Air Base, UAE to participate in exercise Desert Flag 8. This is the first time that LCA Tejas is being used for international flying exercises outside India. The exercise is scheduled from 27 February to 17 March 2023. rank India ranks 42 in 55 countries on international ip index India has been ranked 42 out of 55 countries in the latest international ip index report by the us chamber of commerce the united states ranks first in the 2023 index followed by the uk and france india ranks seventh biggest nation ready to adopt crypto in 2023 According to Hedgewith Crypto Research, India emerged as seventh biggest nation ready to adopt crypto in 2023. Australia is the biggest country when it comes to the adoption of cryptocurrency in 2023 with a score of 7.37 out of 10. Karnataka tops at clean energy transition. According to a report from Institute for Energy Economics and Financial Analysis, YIFA, and EMBA Karnataka and Gujarat have emerged as India's frontrunners in the transition to clean electricity. EMBA is an independent, not-for-profit climate and energy think tank while the YIFA examines issues related to energy markets, trends and policies. The report Indian states energy transition prepared a scoring system for 16 states account for 90% of electricity production in India. Elon Musk reclaims to the top becomes richest person on the planet again. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, once again overtook the position of richest person in the world on 28th February, according to a Bloomberg Billionaires Index report.
The second-placed French business tycoon Bernard Arnault has a net worth of $185 billion, trailing Tesla CEO Elon Musk by $187 billion. With a net worth of $117 billion, Amazon executive chairman Jeff Bezos ranks third in terms of wealth. Miscellaneous CRPF to organize its 84th Raising Day celebrations for the first time in Chhattisgarh's Bastar district, a stronghold of left-wing extremism the Central Reserve Police Force, CRPF, will hold its annual Raising Day function for the first time in Chhattisgarh's Bastar district, which has been a hotbed of left-wing extremism. Government organized the birth anniversary of Sansevalal Maharaj, the religious leader of the Banjara community for the first time. For the first time, the Union Ministry of Culture is organizing a year-long festival to mark the 284th birth anniversary of Sant Sevalal Maharaj, the spiritual and religious leader of the Banjara community. This Jubilee Year program started on 26 February 2023 under the Azdikam Ritmotsav. Under this, a two-day program was organized as a part of the 284th birth anniversary celebrations on February 26 to 27, 2023 at DR. Ambedkar International Center in New Delhi. Sant Sevalal Maharaj. He was born on 15 February 1739 at Surgondan Kopa in Shivmogga district of Karnataka. He is considered a social reformer and spiritual teacher of the Banjara community. Due to his extraordinary knowledge, excellent skills and spiritual background in Ayurveda and naturopathy, he was able to dispel the myths and superstitions prevalent in the tribal communities and improve their lives. In states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh, San Sevalal Maharaj is the revered icon of every Banjara family. Natunatu song from RRR to be performed at the Oscars 2023 ceremony. SS Razamoli's RRR movie, the popular song Natunatu which is nominated in the Best Original Song category will be performed at the Panchanve et Academy Awards or Oscar Awards by singers Rahul Sipliganj and Kala Bhairava in their Oscar debut. The song's music is composed by M. M. Kirwani, while its lyrics are written by Chandra Bose. The cross cultural hit is nominated in the original song category alongside This Is a Life from Everything Everywhere All at Once, Applause from Tell It Like a Woman, and Lift Me Up from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, all of which are part of the scheduled performances for the 95th annual ceremony. Book and Author J.P. Nadda launched Book Modi, shaping a global order in flux. BJP National President J.P. Nadda launched a Book Modi, shaping a global order in flux in Delhi. Editors are Sujan Chinoi, Vijay Chauthaiwala, and Uttam Kumar Sinha. One Liner The Unsat et edition of the Munich Security Conference, MSC, takes place this weekend. February ke Satra se Unnis, in Munich, Germany. With more than 700 expected participants, it is likely to be the largest ever such gathering. Cheetah Safari to be allowed from February at Kunopalpur National Park. The Namami Gange Executive Committee has approved nine projects, worth over 1,200 rupee crore for pollution abatement in Ganga Basin and Ghat development. The inaugural ITU to Business Forum was held in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, UAE. National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, on 22 February 1923 announced the use of phosphogypsum waste material in the construction of national highways. Agricultural and Process Food Export Development Authority, APDA, is participating in the 28th edition of Gulf Food 2023 being held in the United Arab Emirates, UAE in February 2023. Union Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Tomar inaugurated the four-day National Horticulture Fair in Bangalore, Karnataka. 
Mumbai's Churchgate Station to be renamed after first RBI Governor Chintaman Dwarkanath Deshmukh. An annual fair is organized every year at the Lord Khatusham Temple, located in the Sikar district of Rajasthan. This fair which is held before Holi is known as Lakhi Mela. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Barisu Kannada Dim Dimava Cultural Festival at Talkatora Stadium in New Delhi on 25 February. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz called on President Draupadi Murmu in New Delhi on 25 February. After a gap of seven years, the three-day Elora Janta International Festival began on 25 February at the historic Sonari Palace, located on the campus of Dia Baba Saheb Ambedkar Marathwada University in Maharashtra. The 85th plenary session of the Indian National Congress was held in Raipur, the capital of Chhattisgarh from Farwari ke Chaubi se Chhabbis. The 14th Rashtriya Sanskriti Mahotsav began on 25 February at Dia. Karni Singh Stadium in Bikaner, Rajasthan On Union Government's directions, the Indian Army Chief has initiated the process to end colonial practices such as horse-pulled buggies, pipe bands, and functional ceremonies on retirement. The Kela government and UN women entered into an agreement in order to promote activities that are well-dot-oming to women in the state's tourist industry. The UNISAT Annual Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, CPA, India Zone Team Conference, will be inaugurated by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla on Farwari Tays at Gangtok, Sikkim. The Youth 20 India Summit will be held at the Maharaja Sayajirav University Vadodara in Gujarat which was attended by more than 600 delegates from 62 countries. Pakistan's Finance Minister Ishq Dar said his country has received $700 million funds from the China Development Bank. In line with the expanding military cooperation with South East Asian nations, an Indian Navy Kilo-class conventional submarine, in Sindhu Kesri, docked in Jakarta, Indonesia, for the first time. Mizoram would export bird's eye chili of the state to the United States for the first time. The Gujarat Assembly on Monday passed a bill to amend an act to regularize unauthorized constructions in urban areas by collecting impact. impact. Fee from owners, which also empowered the government to extend the period for filing applications to regularize unauthorized constructions. Thyreus Narendrani, a new species of cuckoo bee was discovered in Kerala's Srelkadavukole wetland ecosystem, Malappuram district, and Christ College campus. The first foreign university to establish a campus in India will be Deakin University of Australia. The autonomous campus will be built in Gujarat International Financial Tech City, Gift City. Moody's now expects India's real GDP growth to be 5.5% in Doha Zartes, up from the earlier projection of 5%, and to be 6.5% in Doha Zartes. Diaman Sukhmandriya, Union Minister for Health Family Welfare, inaugurated a two-day Chintan Shivir on Drugs, Quality Regulations Enforcement, which was held on 26 and 27 at Farwari 2023 at Kanha Shanti Vanam in Hyderabad, Telangana. IT Minister Rajiv Chandra Sekhar launched a Grievance Appellate Committee, GAC, that will look into appeals by users against decisions of social media platforms. A decade after his retirement, there is news about plans to install a life-say statue of Sachin Tendulkar inside the iconic Vankhede Stadium where he played his last game for India.